so let's get started this video will be almost like a relax with me as I like start my pamper routine I usually do this when I'm wearing a lot of makeup or when I have body ache I don't do this often because this is a lot of thing to do just for a pamper routine like I said I'm only doing this because I was wearing a lot of makeup that day and then my body was aching so I just wanted something to just relax enjoy my time you know that sort of thing and the first thing you saw that I use it's like a salt it's a sea salt you put it in the water I think it kind of helped my aching body I'm not sure if I'm just experiencing the placebo effect but I do feel like it helped my body and then this one that I'm adding right now is just the bubble I know you're not supposed to take bubble shower bubble bath when you're pregnant but I really love bubble I just can't help it I love bubble and I'm just gonna let the water run out and all of that and I don't know what I'm trying to do with my camera and I was just a jerk in it not sure why see how beautiful is the bubble I don't recommend pregnant women to do bubble bath I love bubble bath personally I heard not personally my nurse did tell me when you're pregnant you should not take bubble bath just take a plain bath I just love bubble I put bubble and then I try to put some candle and I was like well I'm doing the most it's not that deep so I removed the candle after my water is just at the level that I wanted oh pause before I proceed I actually don't put the water too hot cuz when it's too as I was saying the water should not be too hot because I was told like pregnant women shouldn't be in hot water like sauna or like too hot water I'm not sure why but they just say you shouldn't do that so because I didn't want to be bored as I was in the water I grabbed my phone was checking my social media just to pass the time it was fun I mainly was scrolling on snapchat if I'm being honest I was scrolling and scrolling you know and shaking my leg be cute this is really relaxing you guys I'm not gonna lie and my makeup looks disgusting it needs to be removed my face looks very oily yeah. <laughs> after I was done sitting in the water I did go out with the clean ink balm this is a makeup remover I love this one you just put it between your hand and then you rub it and massage your face with it it's just a melt the makeup like butter mm -mm -mm. that is disgusting yes very disgusting very disgusting but it does remove your makeup you guys it's just so refreshing and afterward rinsing my face and get all this makeup out it's just a good thing and because I was lazy and I didn't want to go get new water the same water that I was doing my bubble bath I rinsed my face with it and I wear so much makeup and some of the makeup got on the wall and you see I threw some water just to remove it because I don't want the bathroom to stand the bathtub to stand Ugh, so disgusting I don't even know why I'm posting this that's gross Ugh. and I did go at a second time and reapply it as you can tell I'm running out of the face balm that's my favorite I wear makeup maybe once every two weeks so whenever I put makeup that's my go-to face balm remover before i used to just use a makeup remover now i just like to use a face balm first remove the big makeup out then use the makeup remover and you see i'm playing with my bubble i love bubble this is so relaxing yay and then this one, I bought it at Trader Joe. It's actually a face wash, but it does remove makeup. It just breaks down the makeup really well. And one thing with this one, it burns so bad when you get in your eyes. Ugh, it's so painful. I hate it. And then my boyfriend come in and then he was like putting the water in my face just to rinse it off because I couldn't see. And then as you see, he was killing me too because it felt like it. And I did grab my phone and check to make sure everything was gone. So 
everything wasn't completely gone so i did go off of camera and i took a shower removed the residue of my makeup it was really hard for me to film while taking a shower without my camera getting water and then as i got off the shower i put my robe i dry myself and then i did use the native deodorant the one that you see me applying i try to show what it looked like but it was just coming out blurry so i was like okay it's not worth it and i went with the clinique uh well and i did have this cotton pad basically to remove the rest of the makeup i wear so much makeup like i said i need a hundred steps to remove my makeup because one thing with me is that i do not like sleeping with makeup as much as i love makeup i never sleep with makeup and then when i remove my makeup if it takes me 30 minutes 45 minutes to do my makeup it takes me a long time to remove it because i don't want nasty makeup on my face going to bed with it you know then after i finished that i rinsed off my face remove all the nasty makeup there was literally nothing left i did go ahead with my sensodyne toothpaste and then i brush my face wait brush my face oh my god this is the worst i brush my teeth and i grab my towel and i pat dry remove every nasty thing and then one thing about me because i suffer terrible nausea and vomiting i i just never stop vomiting so i do b6 and unisom combined before bedtime and i take them that help me with sleeping and it does help me with nausea too not a hundred percent but it helped me a little bit with nausea and when i go to bed it helped me stay asleep and i drink a big glass of water with ton of ice when i take my unison and this is a body spray mm. after you finish taking a good shower you just want to spray yourself and i know a lot of people don't do the most when they go to bed for me when i go to bed and i take a shower i massage myself i spray myself i just feel so good i go to bed i smell good and i wake up i don't smell like funky and because we're black, we gotta moisturize. Because I be ashy, sisters. My brothers know what I'm talking about. I be scaly, disgusting, and ashy. So I did go ahead with the CeraVe and Nivea cream. I mix them together. And I moisturize my crusty, ashy leg. And then the remaining, I just run it through my hand. And between my finger and everything. Because I don't care you're going to bed, sister. Take care of your ashy self. You should not be looking dusty while going to bed. And then when you wake up, and then if the fan hit you, and dust be coming out of you. You don't want that. I think I've made myself pretty clear. And then my face was dusty too. So I go ahead and apply it in hydration mask. This mask actually really helped my dustiness go away. And after I was done and I was being cute, and um, yes, sister, thank you so much for watching. It was fun filming this video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.